The pursuit of harnessing energies has led researchers to explore the fascinating realm of Earth batteries. These unassuming devices, rooted in principles that intertwine both atomic and ether quantum theories, offer an intriguing glimpse into the potential of tapping into the Earth's natural resources. In this commentary, we'll delve into the mechanics behind Earth batteries, the interplay between atomic and ether field physics, and their applications as showcased through notable examples. At the heart of Earth batteries lies an innovative concept that involves the interaction between soil, metals, and the Earth's potential. Initially, soil blocks were the soil blocks were subjected to various treatments, such as chemical reactions with acids or being left untreated. By introducing rods of different metals into the soil medium, a phenomenon emerged where the properties of the soil impacted the charge of the metal rods, generating a small potential difference. Through the clever arrangement of multiple pairs of metal rods, connected in series, these modest potential differences could accumulate, resulting in higher voltages. The polarization process distinguishes earth batteries from conventional ones. Unlike traditional batteries, earth batteries do not require charging. They rely on the redox potentials of metals, where more electronegative metals function as cathodes and less electronegative ones serve as anodes. This unique principle is rooted in the earth's potential interacting with metals deep within the soil, establishing a continuous charge associated with the metal's electronegativity. In some cases, a chemical reaction involving acid and soil initiates redox pairs of varying electronegativities. However, in general, recharging is not a necessity, making earth batteries a self-sustaining energy source. The concept of connecting batteries in series to generate high voltages finds an analog in earth batteries. The technology's potential for significant power generation is apparent, though its high cost scale and relatively low voltage output temper its practicality. The core of earth battery functionality involves potential difference, which in turn creates a fixed voltage power source, a hallmark characteristic of batteries. Once this voltage is established, a steady and substantial current flows through a resistor connected to the grounded battery. A more intricate perspective on earth battery operation delves into the realm of ether field theory. While this approach might be challenging for those unfamiliar with ether physics, it offers a broader understanding of the technology's underlying principles. This theory posits that both metals and ether coalesce, forming a substance characterized by dielectrics. These dielectric properties manifest in various metals embedded deep within the ground, forming solid connections. The presence of moisture, akin to a condensable dielectric, further nourishes these metals. However, due to their underground location, these metals' dielectric properties are influenced, fostering an affinity for the earth. Consequently, the hidden metals experience constant charging, oscillating between the ether and other metals. The commentary briefly touches on a reinterpretation of atomic and electron theory. It challenges the conventional notion of electrons by suggesting that atoms from different elements are essentially combinations of hydrogen atoms, further reiterating the nuanced perspective presented. Two notable examples, Nathan Stubblefield's electric battery and Michael Emma's ground generator, underscore the practical implications of earth battery technology. Stubblefield's creation relies on a single coil immersed in soil or water, drawing upon the Earth's potential to generate endless energy. On the other hand, Emma's device taps into electronegativity and requires periodic acid replenishment to amplify its low initial voltage. In conclusion, the convergence of atomic and ether quantum theories has given rise to Earth batteries, an intriguing fusion of science and practical applications. These devices challenge traditional notions of energy generation, inviting us to reconsider the possibilities that lie beneath our feet. As researchers continue to explore these principles, the potential for innovative and sustainable energy solutions grows ever brighter.